Well, this has been a fun little project. It started off as a variant of Lid Motors blinker motor and went a bit sideways because what I wanted was something that could run on the table here. And while that circuit worked great on a windowsill, it wouldn't work with just this light. At the moment, I've got two lights running. If I turn this one off to the second one, you can see the, the drop in light um, from this 5 watt LED bulb. And really that's not a problem that a lot of people probably have uh, in terms of lighting in, in their house but that's that's the lamp I've just generally had running because it does run overnight, it runs all the time. I wanted something running underneath that would just run all the time. So I started swapping components around and eventually tripped over another circuit. Um, this is the original one there that I was working from with Lead Motors Design and this one was from Hacktuber. And on his pendulum setup, um, he has this circuit and he wouldn't work at first for me. I deleted the one mega ohm resistor, left the diode in place because the circuit wouldn't work without it, and lo and behold, it works absolutely fine with very little light. The solar panel itself is from one of the dancing wavers from the dollar store. There are a couple of different things with this as well uh, compared to. The usual builds have been seen. Now I do like the way that Lid Motors uses a 55 ohm coil that is hand wound. I found these to be very effective. Relays from junky old circuit boards. And this internal is 273 ohms. Ah, works absolutely great. The magnets on the rotor come from old headphones. My wife wears them overnight for audio books and unfortunately break quite easy because it's from the dollar store as well. So I take the magnets out and if I well, I'll show you it flashing first of all. And you can see the rate that this thing is going out, hopefully. And if I stop the rotor, there's the little magnets that came out of the headphones. So, it will actually auto start as well this, um, which is a good little function. A bit slow, but not too much power when it's underneath this lamp, but it does auto start when it's on the windowsill. So I'm going to carry on, I think, adjusting this circuit a little myself. So you can get it even more efficient, but that's where I'm up to. Okay, thanks for watching.